I think there are two main reasons. Firstly, I was never taught to look after myself. I was taught to push beyond my limits and go, go, go until I burn out. And when I'm burning out, to keep go, go, going. And I think many of us are brought up that way. We live in a very hustle-driven culture. The other reason is because I didn't know how to listen to what my body was telling me. My body was telling me for a very long time that I needed to look after myself, that I needed to tune in and listen and self-care, but I wasn't able to understand the signals. I could feel aches and pains and I had all these symptoms, but I just thought, oh, that sickness. I had no idea that my body was asking for my support, and so I ignored it. And I think because I'd been through quite a lot of physical trauma, I despised my body. Not only did I not want to listen to it, there was a part of me that wanted to hurt it. And so by not listening, I was doing that. And I think a big piece of healing trauma was learning not only to listen to my body, but to love my body. You know, our, our trauma is not going to go away unless we start to listen to it and care for it and, and, and give it the space it needs to tell its story and express and integrate. And for me, because I didn't listen, I didn't know how to listen and I didn't want to listen, my body found a way to make me listen, which was a full-blown shutdown. I had no choice.